Peace, love, and blessings, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I'm Divine Pim Care at 144. Just here to share my appreciation with you all. I thank you all to who are newly subscribed, to all of you who are subscribed. And I just want to give a general reading. Um, this is going to be past, present, and future. Just to say thank you for your love and support and for loving yourselves and for self-improvement, for improvement overall, and just love in general. I'm just very happy and blessed and super grateful. And if I didn't have you to support me, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm only gonna be using three cards. As I said, this will be past, present, and future. I'll be using the Melanated Classic Tarot Deck by Julia Julesby and Ubi Atransha. I've got my deck right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling here. This reading is timeless. It may or may not resonate if you are guided to this message. Take it as it resonates, but there may be a significant message in here for you. This is just to help us to see and reflect, not necessarily to stay in the past, but I do feel there are a lot of us out here who are doing a lot, a lot and a lot of work maybe coming to a place where they might feel unappreciated, realizing that that appreciation comes from within. And so there's a process of loving ourselves more, reflecting on all that we actually have done and possibly realizing just how much you have done and um, overall being grateful for that and um, feeling blessed and thankful. I'll go ahead and split the deck here. I'm going to pull from the top. So what we have for the past. Now this is in reverse. I haven't been doing reverses. Um, reverses. <laughs> Reversals. And I also prefer to do my readings um, in natural light. And so I am kind of stepping out, sorry to kind of sidetrack and talk about myself, but I'm stepping out of my box and going with the flow here. And so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take these as they come out. I'm not gonna flip cards. If they all come out reverse, so be it. If they don't, so be it. We just gonna go with it. Okay, so the hangman in reverse. I'm seeing this now here um, as I'm looking at this is total enlightenment and completing a process this is the past i feel like you were in the hangman position let me get this off of here in the hangman position for quite some time right and this song is perfect timing for this let me turn it down just a little bit <laughs> so you was walking it out and um became enlightened awakened to some things went through uh, I would say a, a deep transformation and it has to deal with I feel speaking your truth seeing the light being the light and having that light like you you have become so much of it that it, it radiates from you now this may have been a lengthy, I feel like this was more of the more, one of the more intense transformations for you. And um, eyes are wide open. I think you, you know exactly what you want, what you're ready for. I feel like this pose too, this pose is sticking out to me like, um, like there may be something significant that someone or some of you are doing with your body energetically. A lot of you, um, I feel, are very into the creative arts. Some of you enjoy dancing. Some of you enjoy ballet. And this could be, I mean, take it as it resonates, you may like all of it. 
but I do feel that successful work has been done as far as breaking old cycles and being able to come into your own and really be confident with yourself and speak your truth. And with me saying eyes wide open, I do feel that as much as you believe, like every, every part of our journey is an increase. It's an improvement. We're always increasing and improving each second. No one second is the same as another. And so, um, and it, I say that also for those who are making the choices that are not of integrity. Um, only because it, that's a part of growth as well. Anything making a choice, you're making a choice moving forward. As you move forward, whether that take place or not, whether that lesson take place at that time or not, there will be a lesson with the choices that we make. And so um, I do feel like you have come out of a significant transformation. Your third eye is on point. Crown chakra is straight lit. And you're ready for what's to come. Um, so I think this is a good card for being in the past because it speaks to what is being overcome no longer being stuck, no longer feeling like you're in a hanging position, you're confident, you know what you want, you've been enlightened, you know what you don't want. I should say that first, you know what you don't want. I, I feel a lot of you have experienced um, some things that you did not want. While um, feeling like that may have been what you wanted at the time, whatever that is, or whatever came into your life, whoever came into your life for these last, or for this last cycle, this last major cycle that you just went through, moving into a new cycle. And ready to make a move. So let's go ahead and we'll see what the present card is. Right. And so I was just silent for a minute because there's no words that need to be said. This pretty much speaks, this whole card just speaks for itself. I really love this card and the magic that I get from this card. This is a card of Aquarius. I see eight stars total. Eights to me are of abundance, prosperity, I also get magician energy. And so I just feel like with seeing the star here and the star card, and this is um, 17, which breaks down to an eight. So we have two eights. You might be seeing eights. You might be seeing two eights at one time, 88. A lot, like a lot. And if you're not seeing eights, I would say also to the infinity sign. This is taking place, like seeing these red red jugs with the red pants. Um, I'm getting with that red, like the, the root chakra energy that has to deal with ancestral ties. And I do feel that you are putting goodness into yourself. There's alchemy here where you are transmuting taking your pains or what may feel like pains and turning that into pleasures. Creativity, using your creativity. I do feel, um, I'm getting like seeing this here. It reminds me of taking a bath or bathing. This is the water, this is water bearer energy. And so um, there's some good water Water alchemy, water magic, water alchemy, something that's being done with water, whether it be outside or indoors. But I was seeing um, 
because she's naked, and this is not gender specific either, but because she's naked in a vulnerable state, there's a, a pure innocence here where there's like, it's like a cleansing of energy and releasing what no longer serves us, taking that, putting it back into the earth and allowing Mother Earth to covet that and embrace that and turn it into nourishment for all. With the intensity of the deepness of the color of the star, this, this beautiful star skin, I'm getting this related to the shadow work. It's almost like a like a a tattoo. Like a whole body tattoo, but it's not. It's um like wearing um I don't want to say that either. Just it's like representative of what you've been through. I think too, some of you like actually like to be out and walk around naked, like where it's, you know, decent in public and stuff, but like even in the, the comforts of your own home, because this is how we came into the earth. And this is what you know to be within your soul, that you're coming more into this bare nakedness as well and being more comfortable with your body being more confident, like I was saying with the hangman in reverse, being more confident about who you are, letting your hair down. Like I see this as natural hair too. I, like everything is just pure. There's purity here. So there's no, like you're releasing toxins, watching what you eat, exercising, watching your surroundings. This person is all by themselves, except for this bird here. And then I do feel that these are protective angels. And this main star is you. This is an emanation of you. This is also similar to the hangman in reverse. We have two images here, both with and that I deem that as confirmation from Archangel Michael the ambulance here. We'll let that ride. Um, but like I was saying, I do see similarities here. These look very similar. This could also be separate energies as well as what I'm getting, seeing how they're both the same, but they're different. And so this could possibly be a situation that you had to deal with. There was a connection that you had to deal with and you became enlightened. Whoever you were connected to also became enlightened, but I feel like this was the overall energy between a connection. If you're not feeling that connection, take it as it resonates as I gave that first description. But seeing this star card next to the hangman in reverse card, these are very similar cards. And this could also just be speaking to the levelness of your path and how things are going steady. Um, just as we have the... And I didn't mention this either, but this is a number 12, which breaks down to a three. With a three, I am getting mind, body, and spirit. So you're connected with the divine and you've gone through many transformations. This last major transformation has really opened up your, your whole upper chakra region. Like I feel doing the work on this lower chakra region has just kind of made that burst into the higher chakras. And so I feel as you have come into that, you're taking what no longer serves you again and putting it into, into Gaia, surrendering and allowing the universe. You're doing what you need to do. And as you're doing that, the universe is seeing that, they're hearing that and they're loving that. And they're willing that the more you help yourself, the more they're willing to help you and not even willing, the more that they're there, I should say, because they're always willing to help you. There's never um, any doubt that um, our spirit team would ever leave us or fail us. They're always going to be there. Um, so I'm sorry that came out that way. I was just trying to really put emphasis on the importance of how we always have this protection around us. We just have to know it. And I think coming into our 
our power and connecting even deeper with our spirit helps us to know that. And that's where that confidence comes from even more. And I keep seeing the bird back here. I do feel this bird is a messenger. There may be a message coming to you that you don't see because you're so busy um, taking good care of yourself. And not, that's not a bad thing at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I would just say to continue to follow your guidance. You're shining. You're recognized appreciated, very well loved, accomplished, helping others. And I do feel too that um, this energy here, like it, it likes to be done in the nighttime or when it's dark outside. I do get like in the sun, like sun type energy, but this is more of a, night and so I do like we do have day and night energy here and I'm hearing yin, yin and yang balancing so this overall I feel that this is like a balancing and as you've been doing that this has been helping you internally which is all beginning to show in the external making some really, really great things happen. Birds may be significant. You may have a special totem animal that is significant to you. You may be seeing a lot of birds. I would pay attention to that if you're not. Um, just see how you feel and notice how you feel if you do see a lot of birds and just listen to the silence and what's being said and what's not being said. How do you feel? How does it feel? This is a nature card as well, being out in nature. Some good grounding going on, definitely. There's one foot here in the, in the grass and then we have one foot in the water. There's a connection that's taking place as this foot is going into the water. So there may be some um, water sign energy in your chart as well. Strong water sign. But what you're pouring into this water here, your foot is connected to that. I do feel this is related to the opening up of this third eye and crown chakra region. And as you're alchemizing and opening up those chakras, it's also helping with the throat chakra as well and being able to express yourself and speak your truth and be your truth. No matter where you are, who you're with, or what you're surrounded by, it's a happy place. Very significant star. I want to say too, in your birth chart, I would, um, I'm hearing ascendant. So whatever your rising sign is, I would say that would be of good assistance and something to, um, if you don't already have, I mean, I would just do some research on your ascendant, whatever that may be. The third card, two of cups in reverse. And this is the future. So we have past, present, future. With this being the present card and this being work done, this bird being behind you where you're not seeing this bird energy 
I do feel is an energy, excuse me, an energy, I was gonna say energetic, energetic feel of someone you were connected to. And because we have this Two of Cups in the reverse, for the future card, I do feel that, <coughs> excuse me, uh-oh, Throat Tracker Energy. Um, and this card is shining. Let me try, let me move these over just a little bit. But I got interrupted when I was getting ready to make a point, so that may be significant. There may be there may have been some blockage. Um, I do feel if there was a connection before that you're moving away from, that may have been something that was keeping you stagnant. And I do feel that you have just decided to put yourself into your own self. And make what you can work for yourself. And as you do that and help yourself, you're helping others. Seeing that extending yourself externally first and then going within is probably not ideal. But getting back to this Two of Cups in reverse, with this, twos are, especially with this Two of Cups, this is a, a strong soulmate. Uh, a special bond, significant, very significant connection. And so I do feel that because this is in the future position, that this was something you were taking, learning lessons from, you become enlightened to, and you are manifesting a situation that moves you away from this Two of Cups energy that was before you that you are no longer interested in for whatever reason that may be. But I do feel like you are doing t the work to move yourself away from any unwanted energies and what no longer serves you. And this Two of Cups energy may have been what no longer serves you. So moving forward into the future with this Two of Cups being in reverse, this is to me speaking of presently putting an end to something that could have been and because it's not because of what you realizing what you don't want we're putting an end to this it may have been and also too i'm seeing the lion in reverse so there may have been um a leo representative type energy that was not of the greatest good i do feel because there's a there's this the the side where we can take leo energy and utilize it to the best and be that courageous leader who is honest and loyal and does right by others and doesn't um take their power and utilize it in a way that is manipulative that can be hurtful, that isn't mindful of others. There, that is a possibility um, with the Leo energy, but then we have the other side where we are opposite of that. And we are brave and courageous, but also lifting up others, like empowering. It's an empowering state. And so I do feel that maybe this Two of Cups, it, you know, cause Two of Cups is Two of Cups and it represents you know what we what we desire and look for in our relationship and so i do feel this may have taken place you coming into light realizing that this is no longer something that you are wanting as you are moving forward in the future i do feel that with this being in reverse and being worked on to be moved away from, you also know that there is something greater. You've been enlightened to your value, to what you bring to the table, knowing that what you have been experiencing, so many confirmations tonight, what you have been experiencing is nowhere near your standards. 
and we all deserve the best. Everybody has their own standards. Everybody knows what they want and what they don't want at a certain point when it comes to our career, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to family, and when it comes to ourselves. Um, so yeah, I do feel that this is being worked on to be moved away from towards as we're moving into the future. And I am seeing something past this that is like the corn is right here. And with me seeing the corn next to this two of cups in reverse, it just, it speaks to uh, growth and it's not a fruit, but I am hearing fruits of your labor, receiving the harvest of what is yours. And just know that you always have what you always need. I think you are just you're you're in the you're in the mix and you're making it happen, just like I said. So um yeah, I think that's pretty much uh it. I would say with the star card being in your present position, and then we have the two of cups. Uh, seeing this as your future, the two of cups in reverse. Um, just exactly what I said. Sorry, I got sidetracked because I just realized too that both of these cards are in reverse. I think also to put emphasis just on you alone. Like, okay, we're past this. I know what I'm working on, what I need to do for myself what works, what doesn't work. And I'm I'm going to work and make it work for myself, even if I have to. And I've got the support of the divine behind me as I get up to turn forward and move forward with this being the next step. So take it as it resonates. But this was the uh, appreciation reading. Again, I thank you all for being here. I hope that these messages were helpful and provided some insight. And I hope that you all are doing well and feeling blessed. I send you all my love and lots of hugs and kisses. Take care. Peace.